This is a Max Store Diamond Max 9 80 gigabyte IDE drive made in January of 2003. Guess what? It's freaking dead like every other Max Store ever made. Instead of getting the click of death, it just simply won't spin up at all. Believe me, I've done everything. So don't judge me. I know someone's gonna say, oh, you wrecked a perfectly good hard disk. Well, no, it's not perfectly good, it's a piece of shit. So, we're gonna get revenge on it. Hmm, cover doesn't wanna come off. Oh, that's why. Actually, your arm's still held in there. Now it won't be. There's the inside of our hard disk. Yep, very nice. Problem with this one is it won't spin. Platter spin freely and all, it just won't spin up. And now it took a quick death. <laughs> Yeah. It's dead. Well, seems Mr. Rock is somewhat buried, so I just want to try something else. I have actually managed to get this bearing off, and we should go one more. <laughs> Actuator still moves. Hmm. Alright, now maybe if I push on that little thing there. Oh. Ow. Oh! Holy! Holy head crash! the whole head off the platter. <laughs> it'll read. It'll read. Charge my batteries and since I stopped the camera I, I removed the platter and then after my batteries were charged I lost the top platter and the bracket. So yeah. Since it won't spin up so therefore we can't it won't crash its heads because well I'll try to zoom in on the heads. I guess you're not going to be able to see that because this camera's an absolute piece of crap. If I. That way, yeah, the heads are all totally screwed, so. 
One's even bent. <laughs> like, completely the other way. I've removed the magnet here, which is sitting right over here. So we'll put the screws on it. Unaffected by magnets, nice. Alright then. Yep. <laughs> so let's just hold the head down. Ooh, look at that. See that head crash there? Hmm. Not very noticeable on the camera. Do a head crash out here. Homemade head crash. <laughs> Let's pull this platter out of here. <laughs> this is awesome. Don't need this anymore. Not for the time being, anyway. This is what we have caused to happen to the disc. Let's try and get out of the view. Can I pick that up? Apologize for this crappy camera, but... Mm -hmm. Eight years of data. Whoa. dangling out of this drive left and right. Now this is a whole nother can of worms. I don't even know why this failed because like really it wouldn't even make a noise at all. Wouldn't even try to spin up. It's just as if the motor was shot. So 
Here are the heads of the drive. What they are is tiny magnets. See, there's two of them here. From, I think, the top two actuators. Uh, okay, compare them to a floppy disk. This is a floppy disk. These are those heads. Or head, I must have lost one. Oops. Oh well, head. I could actually erase a disk. Should try that now later. Wonder if I could stick it to my deep freeze. Got to finish off the platters too. <laughs> For one blow, I, I'd say I did good. <laughs> now. I'll just put it back together. The owner will never notice. <laughs> All right. Oops. I don't want to hurt my hammer. Didn't do much damage at all. Actually got that platter pretty much back the way it's supposed to be. Except, well, you know, on that side it's okay, I guess. So much all line up right when I stuff them in the desk star and kill its motor after wrecking the platters. <laughs> nah, that's not till it dies. I only killed dead or defective drives. <laughs> Let's see if I can stuff it in there between those heads. There we go. We've got two heads in the bottom, one head on the top. This is the top ladder, after all. Warranty will never know the difference. <laughs> Actually, a better idea is if we just good enough. Just send it back to Max Door like that, <laughs> and because every video has to have a happy ending. Problem solved.